hello everyone welcome back to selenium web driver tutorial and in the last video we have discussed about uh, different types to locate element using an xpath and in this video we are going to discuss uh, uh, more detail about xpath axis approach so xpath axis is generally used to find complex or dynamic elements there are actually 13 different type of xpath axis first one ancestor ancestor or self attribute child descendant descendant or self following following sibling namespace parent preceding sibling self so these are all the 13 different axes uh, of xpath uh, that helps to locate complex element and as well as a dynamic element up so let's see the most commonly used xpath axis now so first one is an ancestor so ancestor helps you to select any parent or grandparent of the current node so this is an example of ancestor so i will uh, let's go back uh, to the chrome and we will inspect this so if you see this this is uh, you already have uh, which we have discussed in the last video how to write a relative basic this comes under basic relative xpath after that we have used a forward slash followed by xpath axis that we are seeing right now it's an ancestor and after you write the xpath axis you have to use a double colon followed by either star or an expression or an xpath expression that you want to locate so when you're looking this for a very first time or if you are learning this xpath axis for the very first time it looks really complex but when once you start practicing this you will get used to it so let's see how to write an xpath so let me locate this one cst so i will write a normal xpath now it's id at id let me zoom this one at id is equal to so finally we can able to locate this uh, node with an id and now let's explore how the ancestor work ancestor I have used an keyword ancestor followed by double colon and star so it returns three matches that you can see here this ancestor return the parent as well as grandparent of the current node this expression this is an expression for the current node that we are locating so this is a current node if you see this div id is a current node and this div section is a parent of this current node that you can see from this arrow marker this is a parent of uh, the current node and this is a grandparent and this is a grand grandparent so whatever the nodes which are ancestor of this current node will get return as a result when you use this uh, keyword ancestor so first it return the html and it return the body and it return the div section so how it helps us means uh, uh, let's say if you want to locate this one but this div section and this div section doesn't have an attribute or it have an attribute but it gets duplicated then you can take this as a reference and you can locate the this div section so let's say i can remove this uh, star i find div so if you see uh, after colon if i type a word div it start locating this one so if i use a forward slash and div of one there is index of one so i can easily able to locate this div section that is a sibling of uh, this div tag by taking this as a reference so this is a use of uh, ancestor axis so now let's go back to the slide and see what what is ancestor or self ancestor or self lets you select any parent and grandparent of the current node including the current node so the only difference between ancestor and ancestor self is ancestor just return the parent and grandparent but this ancestor or self return 
parent, grandparent as well as the current node. So if you remember this, let me replace this one. Let me replace this one again with a star. It return three results and it doesn't include this uh, current node. But once I replace this with ancestor hyphen or hyphen self, it return four, which means it include the current node that is uh, this node as well. Once you see that, you will understand. So HTML body tag, div tag, and again it enter in the current node. So this is the basic difference between ancestor and the ancestor or self. Now let's go back to the slide and we will see an another access. So child. So this is a child XPath access approach return all the children in the current node. So this is an example and we will see that shortly. So if you see this is a node which we took. This is a node which we took but it has only one child. So we will pick up another one which is having more than two or three child. If you see this node it has a uh, around yeah more than three cells so we will pick up this one so i'm going to replace the cst with view report now as well as this one i'm going to replace this xpath access as child if you see this it return 17 matches so, so this is a one which we are referencing and this is the first results it returning so once you look through the results you could see that it return all the childs of this node but it doesn't enter into the grandchild or the child which is present inside the child of this current node so it just return only the child of the referencing node so this is a use of child access approach now let's go back to the slide and see descendant. So descendant is an another access approach, XPath access approach, which lets you select children and grandchildren of the current node. So you, you could see the, you could now understand the difference between child and descendant. So child only return the child of uh, the current node, but this descendant return the child as well as grandchild. It is not just limited to grandchild, whatever the tax which is present inside the current node, it return all the tax. I will show you. So once I replace this with keyword descendant, you could see it returned 390 results. So this is a uh, highlighted, uh, the gray color highlighted portion is the current node and this is the first match. Let's see one by one. If you see that it entered into another tag and it again went inside the two id is equal to csd that is a grandchild of the referencing node and again one more grandchild grand grandchild so now if you see it went inside the this is a child this is a grandchild and this is a grandchild this is another grand grandchild it went further and if there is any other element which is present after that it will also get into this if i type this uh, if type enter you'll see so it loop through the entire tax of the current node if you use a keyword doesn't enter and the next one is descendant or self descendant or self it should be descendant or self lets you select children and grandchildren of the current node including current node so you can now understand the difference between descendant and descendant or self descendant return all children and grandchildren and this descendant or self return children grandchildren as well as the current node so what you have to do is you just need to add keyword or hyphen self so you could see it returned one more match that is the current node. 
initially it was 390 now it's returning 391 because it has included this current node as well so there's a basic difference between descendant and descendant or self following so following is an xpath access approach which return all in the document after the closing tag of the current node so whatever the tags which present after the current node it return the entire tags so uh, let us see now i'm just replacing this with keyword following so you could see So if you see here, um, this is a comment. So whatever the tags which are present after the closing tag of this node get returned. So let's go to this one. This is the one which I have minimized. So it start returning the expression from this line onwards of the script div and one more div. And if I enter one more div, it will enter inside the parent as well as grandparent and as well as if any other tag present after the reference node it will return that as a result if you use a keyword following and following sibling following sibling return all the siblings after the closing tag of the current node so there is a much difference between following and following sibling this following return all the tags irrespective of whether it is a parent grandparent or grandchild or grand grandchild it return all the tags but this following siblings return only the sibling of the current node so this is the one we took and if you see these two tags are the siblings of this current node that you can see from here this lies on the straight line so this div section and iframe are the two tags which are the siblings of uh, the current node which we are referencing so once you replace this with keyword following hyphen sibling it return three script div iframe yes of course uh, this uh, script is also a um, sibling of this one so it returns three match once you use the keyword sibling following hyphen sibling now let's go back to the slide and we'll see parent so this parent xpath access return the parent of the current node if i replace this with the keyword parent it return the parent of this current node so this is a class we are referencing and this body is a parent of uh, this class so it return the parent that contain the current references that current node so there is a use of a keyword parent and preceding so preceding return all in the document before the current node so this preceding is just opposite to a keyword following so in the following whatever the documents so or whatever the tags which are present after the current node that gets returned if you use the keyword preceding whatever the do uh, document or nodes which presented before the current node that gets returned if you use a keyword preceding you could see that it has returned 18 element that present before this current node that you can see here it return child grandchild parent as well as grandparent but the only condition is it should present before the current node that is the only condition for the keyword proceeding now let's go back to another xpath uh, approach this is preceding sibling so preceding sibling return all the siblings before the current node So once we replace this with a keyword preceding hyphen sibling 
this is just opposite to following sibling preceding hyphen sibling there is a no siblings uh, uh, before this one so let us select uh, another one so if you see there is a no siblings before this one so I will, I will replace this one with with this tag which is present after that so it has at least one sibling here that you can see see it returned two matches one is a script and uh, another one is a div tag it has a two siblings actually this div tag and the script tag this is a node which we are referencing right now and the keyword preceding hyphen sibling return whatever the siblings which present above this uh, current node currently you can see these two and that's why it has returned true so this is a use of preceding siblings xpath approach and self this self return just the current node of uh, the xpath uh, rate xpath expression that you have used it just return only one value that is a current node that you are referring to so this is a use of a self and uh, I don't think that it is much useful this self because uh, even this expression is more than sufficient to return the current node so just uh, as a part of uh, learning you should know what is the use of a uh, self in the xpath axis so thank you for watching this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts just drop all your doubts in the comment section I will get back to you as soon as possible and thank you bye bye